probably move into the top 10 in the heavyweight division because Gokhan Sharakam has the longest active win streak right now in the division. Eight and one versus 15 and one. And telling you, both these guys in the heavyweight division, they got places to go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here at Three Arena, we'll go three five minute rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing the blue corner at six foot two, weighing in 248.2 pounds. In his Bellator debut, he enters with 15 professional victories, just one defeat, presenting Oleg Popov. And across the cage, his adversary out of the red corner at six foot three, weighing in 247.4 pounds. As a professional, he brings eight wins, just one defeat. Introducing Gokhan Savicha. In charge, your referee, Kevin McDonald. Back, back. This place, not too long from now, will be jam packed, loud, and even more raucous than it is right now. I'm Ryan Bader sits atop the division. Ready to fight? Yeah. Gokhan Savicha would like yeah, his chance up. to get there. Like Popoff, part of Team Fedor. Popoff, very good with his wrestling, lifetime of wrestling, so he will shoot on Sarakov. That's what Gohan has got to really be careful of is when he times a shot. He's got fast hands and he wants to use those hands to knock out Popoff. There's the first shot. Nice job of getting that underhook. I saw a chomp. His wrestling has been getting better and better through time. Came into the sport of MMA from boxing. Working with Gegard Musasi and Musasi's brother as his chief trainer. His wrestling has really improved. Now one loss for Sarachom was against Steve Mowry. It was four years ago. And it was wrestling was the difference. Yeah, it was. The ability to get the fight to the ground. You can see that just the heavy pressure that Popov puts on with his wrestling. And it's every time that I've watched him fight, he gets into the clinch, he wears the arms of his opponents down, and all of a sudden he's pulling off either a beautiful body lock, single leg, there he goes for the inside trip. His winning streak now to get the same level of competition, but he has won 13 in a row over the last seven years. Let's go guys. That gives you confidence, and yep. confidence is key in this sport. When you start winning and then you say, I, I have my direction, I have my road to go. That's a big moment right there for, for Sarachov. The fact that he was able to fight off that takedown says a lot. Pop off knocked out Antonio Silva. Granted, obviously not prime Antonio Silva, but talk about confidence building. Get on the single leg. Yep. Nice job of trying to bounce him off of the cage. Now he's going for the opposite side. Nice job of switching it over. Sarchov gonna go down. It's, anytime you bring those legs together, that's gonna put you in a bad spot. More grip. Seems almost more defensive from this spot. This is the fight the Popo wants to have. He wants to be in the top position. He wants to just wear Sarchan down, just be heavy on him, and do as much damage as he can each round to just slowly and systematically dismantle his ability to be powerful and to do damage to him. So 
Well, jumps background boxing, 29 amateur fights. She spent a ton of time with his head coach, Gay Gardner Sassy. Very nice job of getting back to his feet. And that's a mat return that right there, that's demoralizing. Because you worked hard to get back to your feet, and then the guy brings you right back down. You see how Popa stepped inside of that leg? Very nice wrestling. Good technique. Yeah, this has been good work. It's been a good round of work from Popa. Nice job with the Kimura to get himself back up by Sarchop. Sarchop needs to let his hands go in the stand-up. He was going for that the first time, but he didn't have room to do it. And one of the things if you're Sarchop, see, instead of going for those head shots, Body shots against the wrestler makes the hands, your hands are almost down, so when he shoots, it helps put you in a position to stop the, the takedown attempt. The body is a great thing to attack Sharp. on a guy when you know he's gonna wrestle. And Popov is showing you how good he is with his wrestling. That's a good first round for Popov. Stop! Oh, what does Sarachom have to do better here in round two? He's got to let his hands go, but he's got to, instead of looking for the one big shot, touch him and make him pay as he gets close. Shots to the body are big. Don't get into that where you're looking for that one punch knockout. It's never going to come when you do that. But the more that you just touch him, the better things are going to happen. Nice low calf kick. Yeah, by well, as you can see, whenever you see the nod, <laughs> that means it's time to change levels. There. He has had his way on the fence. Nice job of turning the corner by Popov. He just pulled that leg, hit it hard, turned the corner on him. Right into side control. You think about our main event tonight. Who's going to control the positions in the first Amasov Storley fight? Logan Storley was almost taken aback that he wasn't able to take Amasov down, which had been so easy for him in other fights, and he realized he was there are levels to this. Yeah, when you think you're going to out wrestle someone and then all of a sudden they're taking you down, it's it's a eye-opening moment. And Logan Storley has competed against just the very best in wrestling. So we're talking about a guy who is. Unbelievably good at his wrestling. He, re he realized Amazon very good himself. Logan Storley talked to us about driving home 26 hours, thinking he might have a torn ACL, trying to ponder his first loss. Hope up grabbing the ankle, keeping Sarchov from being able to get that foot down. It's nice work. More control right now than anything. He's just trying to. Get to a position where if Sarchon's able to get back to his feet, he's gonna just mat return it. You just said the magic word for the first seven minutes of this fight, control. And that's really what it's been. There hasn't been a lot of damage, but neither guy has inflicted damage, so the control is really what you're seeing of Oleg Popov is just dominating the position. He's keeping the fight where he wants it. He wants it in the grappling range, and that's where it's been. Ankle pop off is preventing Sharachev from doing what he wants to do. And look how long it's taking him just to get back into this position as the rounds are fading away. This is nice right now. That's why he's trying to separate the hands, but he's not having luck with it. We're going to see if Popov goes right back to getting an inside or outside on one of the legs and dragging Sarachev back to the mat. It's 
go, guys. Instead, Sarachan turns, and again, back to the single leg. Back to a control position. One of our favorites, Liam McCourt. She'll be back in action at the end of March, and back to Pachanga. Everybody's watching tonight a fight that has captured the imaginations of people that were not even sports fans, let alone MMA fans. Sarchov looking to sit out on that. The big difference in MMA and wrestling, though, in wrestling, you cannot clasp your hands, which makes a sit out work. When you're able to clasp your hands together, it really does not work the same. Sarachov has been no match for Popov in the grappling. None. No, he, and it is. It's starting to get frustrating for him. You can see he's looking at his corner like, what should I do different? And there's no answer for him right now because he's just up against a guy that can out wrestle. What you're doing, don't do that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's, but now you're tired after two rounds of pop off on top of you. Now it's much harder to get your game going. Stop. Sarah Chum's back has been against the fence literally the first two rounds. Now it's against it figuratively as we start round three. Absolutely. But the one thing that he's got going on, he does have power in his hands. And if he lands one good one, he can change this entire fight all around. And that's what he was looking for with that shot. Instead, he gets clipped. There's the level change. Not a bad idea with that uppercut, though. He was thinking there, waiting on that level change. He just wasn't able to connect in the right spot. I was just about to say, Sarge so Trump cannot go down to the mat here, cannot let himself get taken down because that's cost him minutes. You see him trying to get back up immediately and does. Very nice job. That's what he was unable to do the first two rounds. See the low kick right there. No reason to do that low kick. Nice work by Sarachov. Took all that pressure that Popov was trying to drive into him. Allowed that pressure to work against him. But then again, here comes Popov right back. Held the hands, let him flow right inside the arms, and now he's back. In a position, little knees, controlling. See how Popov puts his hand right through the crotch there. Great job. He knew exactly where he was at and what he wanted. Now he's into a high crotch position. Let's see if he can elevate Sarachuk off the fence. Goes back to the single leg. Too strong. Yep. Too good a wrestler. Sarachov from this position, at least with Popov's head there, he should look towards utilizing elbow strikes. Put him right against the ear. And Popov has knockout power too, and he's got seven knockouts in his 15 wins. He's done it throughout the regional circuit, but they had a game plan for this, and it has worked perfectly. Go guys, fight out. Popov again put a lot of pressure. He's working hard. You can see he's getting a little tired. The head's dropping down a lot. It's a lot of weight that he's starting to carry. Nice job. Another mat return. And the time bleeding away on the four-year win streak. Gokhan Sarachov. Sarachov 
Marchand needs to break away here. Don't stay in this yep. where this you know this clinch range. This is this is Popov's world. Why are you going to stay here? The fight cannot be won here if you're Sarachan. Exactly. Unless you land a big elbow inside, and that's what he's looking for, possibly. But he's got to land something with power. There you go. That's what he's thinking about. Now we just saw Brian Moore steal a fight in the last minute, but Sarachan's not getting this on the cards. No, he needs a knee course. like that to land. That's what he's looking for. Desperation time, minute 15. Sorry, now, John. there's the fatigue from Popov. Keep watching that. Sorry, John, Keep almost like a kick to the head of a grounded fighter. He didn't, so there's nothing that, it, that happened, but it was close. But again, here, start opening up. Turn your body. Think about elbows. What's going to do the most damage, Sean? Right now, it would be elbow strikes. So I want to put pressure down on Popov and start bringing elbow strikes to that ear. It's easy to say, but he's easily yeah. feeling the position with how his leg is. Not to mention the exhaustion of Popov being on top of him for 14 minutes. That's what you're looking for right there. Yep. He can do damage, he can win the round, but you can't think that's going to be enough. And Popov literally just hanging on in every possible way. Stop! Michael C. Williams knows the answer. Having gone the distance, we'll go now to your three judges. Eric Colon, Sal the model, Brian Miner. All have it exactly the same, 29-28. For the winner by unanimous decision, Oleg Popov.